So in this video, very simply, we're getting into how to drain your hot tub. And there are basically going to be two ways that you can drain your hot tub. One with a regular garden hose and two if you happen to have a submersible pump. That's what this thing is. I definitely recommend it. I'll link to mine down below in the description on Amazon. But I can drain my hot tub in about 15 minutes with this submersible pump. I just plug it in, which it's not right now, and then I drop it in. This thing is a float that tells it automatically whether or not it's in the water. And once it's in the water, the hose starts to fill up with water automatically, and it just pumps it out to wherever I have the other end of the hose. And like I mentioned, it can do that in about 15 minutes. With a garden hose, it's probably going to take about two hours to drain. Nothing wrong with that, but I can get my hot tub going again significantly faster by using this submersible pump. What do I mean by that? Well, it's going to take probably three or four hours to fill up the hot tub, and it's going to take at least that amount of time to heat the water in the hot tub. Um, and of course, you don't want to turn the heater on until the water is at least uh, able to reach some of these intake valves. So you can't even turn the heater on immediately once you start filling it. You have to wait till it's got a little bit of water in there. So I can get back in my hot tub tonight by using the submersible pump now to drain it. And then we're going to wipe it down, clean it out, refill it and heat it back up again. But I'm going to show you both methods, the submersible pump method and the garden hose method. I do have another video that kind of goes deeper into the submersible pump, so I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on that. I'm going to show you both ways. That way you know how to do it and you can decide for yourself if you want to go the garden hose route or buy a submersible pump. And like I mentioned, I'll have a link to this one down below in the description. But let's get go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the hose method first, um, and then we'll show you this method. So let me show you how to hook up the garden hose. Okay, so every hot tub is going to be a little bit different. Yours might not be exactly the same as mine. Mine has plastic siding on the sides. And the first thing I have to do is take this corner off here, which is easy to do with these thumb screws. Normally there's three of them. I've been missing this middle one since we moved here because the hot tub was here when we moved in. So I'm just going to take those out. It shouldn't require anything other than your hands to remove these. Then I'm just going to take this panel out and away. I'm going to set the screws aside. And you see right here is this little spigot here. So I'm going to, this just twists basically and pulls out. Stubborn. So it feels like I might need a set of pliers to get that out. Let me grab those real quick. All right, I've got my handy dandy pliers here. And I'm just going to kind of pull this thing out like that. And if you notice, this is a cap that like you'd find on a hose. This is exactly where the hose hooks up to. All right, so I've got this all the way out. Then I just simply unscrew this cap. And with it extended all the way out, it's, the water's not going to start to flow. The water won't start to flow until I push it back in. And I'm going to hook the garden hose up to this before I do that, obviously, so I don't end up with water all over my deck. So I'm going to attach my garden hose here. And then I'm going to run the other end where I want it to go, which is obviously not on the deck. Let me get this in place. And then I want to show you the water flow from the hose so you can compare it to the submersible pump. All right, so now that I've got it connected and the hose is run, I'm just going to push it in like that. And water's going to start to flow out through the hose. So let's go take a look at the other end of the hose so you can see how quickly it's coming out. Okay, so as you can see, the water is coming out of the other end of the hose. However, it's not really setting any speed records. My hot tub is probably comparable to yours and mine holds about 600 gallons. As you can imagine, draining 600 gallons with it coming out as quickly as you see here is going to take forever. By comparison, like I mentioned, the submersible pump will have it drained in about 15 minutes, except for the little bit of water that's going to remain at the bottom. But you're going to have to deal with that even if you use the garden hose. I use a wet dry vac to get rid of the excess water at the very bottom. But let me show you 
what the flow looks like with the submersible pump so you can get an idea of why I recommend this so much, why I bought one, and why I think they're indispensable. And of course, if you have anything like I do, like an above ground pool, you can use it on that too. But let's take a look at the flow of the submersible pump. Okay. So now I'm ready to start the submersible pump. As I mentioned, I do have another video that goes into greater detail on this thing, so I'm not going to bore you with an extensive overview of it. There's no on-off switch, though. You simply plug it in and then drop it in. And make sure you have enough slack on the hose. I like to place it in the absolute lowest part of the hot tub because I do want it to drain as much of the water as possible. And then once the float detects that it's submerged, it's going to start to fill that hose up, as you can see, and start to drain your hot tub. And like I mentioned, it'll do it very, very, very quickly. Um, but let's go check the flow on the other end. I do also just want to mention briefly, of course, that, you know, if you if I had run it up and over the fence, that would be gravity would be working against me. It's already working against me a little bit. So I don't want to do any more of that than I absolutely have to. But let's go take a look at the flow on the other end of the hose so you can kind of compare it to what the flow of the garden hose was. OK, so you can pretty clearly see that the flow from the submersible pump is easily 10 times as much as it was from the garden hose. That's what's going to enable me to drain my hot tub in as little as 15 minutes using this thing, as opposed to waiting hours for the garden hose. That's why I like it. That's why I bought one. That's why I recommend them. But like I mentioned, I do have another video on this. So that was not the purpose of this video. So while that's draining, I just want to briefly mention that I do have other videos, not just the one on the submersible pump, but I have another video that talks about doing a biofilm clean out. And if you're not sure what that is, and especially if you've never done one, you're going to want to watch that video. Again, I'll put a link to it in the description and you'll see a card for it at the end. But I do that every single time I drain my hot tub, which is about every three months. And the biofilm clean out gets rid of any bacterial build up inside the plumbing. And because it's in the plumbing, you never know it's there. I don't see it. I just do the biofilm clean out right before I change my water. And then it gets rid of all of that. And then when I do fill it back up again and, and turn the heat back on and everything, my water is sparkling clean and clear. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there's no bacterial buildup inside the plumbing that could be affecting the safety and the sanitation of my newly refreshed hot tub water. So I always do that biofilm clean out before I change my water. And you're going to want to watch that video if you don't know how to do that. And especially if you've never done one, because if you've never done one and you've owned your hot tub for a while, I can almost guarantee you've got biofilm buildup. And if you've ever noticed that you're having to add more and more and more chlorine and shock or bromine than you used to, that's probably because you have a biofilm buildup that's going through that sanitizer and that shock more quickly as the bacteria levels increase. So definitely check that video out. I also have another video that talks about where to drain your hot tub water. Because after all, you don't want to just drain it anywhere. You don't want to drain it on grass that you care about or tree roots, flower beds. You sure don't want to drain it on the neighbor's yard. So you're going to want to watch that video too if you're not clear where in your yard would be the best place to drain your water. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.